Johnny Valentine Johnny Valentine He's a lover, not a fighter, they call him Johnny Valentine Hello everybody and welcome back. Welcome to part three of our Let's Play for Discworld. In the first two parts of this series we collected the parts to make the dragon detector, found the dragon and the dragon has now set us the task of locating the conspirators uh, who are trying to call him in and destroy Ankh-Morpork. Pork. So let's continue from where we left off if we go back into the barn again. Then walk along and over here, somewhere over here, should be a screwdriver, probably on the wall there. So we'll take that with us. So we can leave there. So we'll need that for later on. It's one of the things that we'll need. All right then. Um, So we need to go and visit the library again. So back to the Unseen University and into the library. And so before, a lot of walking around to do in this game. But there's also a lot of humour to make up for it. So in we come. Where did we leave the library? It's only been a short while, but you forget where things are. There's a library. And you may have noticed when we came in here the first time that as you come across, there's this, there's this strange man standing here. So if we come over... There's a sleazy guy, so let's go and talk to him. Hey, buddy. Who, me? Have you ever thought about the advantages of owning land on the Fremen Wanger Peninsula? Isn't that all underwater? That's just its advantage, friend. Think of it. A seaside retreat where the sea can actually be the one total dominating element of the view. So, we'll talk to him. Gosh, yes. Let me take advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime offer. What? Really? Nah, only kidding. I just want it to be as pleasant as possible, as sort of aid to conversation. Oh, but that's cruel. It's building up my hopes only to dash me down. You know, being a confidence trickster is a hard job. Well, perhaps you need a holiday. <laughs> right, but where to? Where to? Not a lot of peace at resorts these days. Oh, I hear the Framenwenger Peninsula is fairly quiet. Mm, yeah. uh, What's that under your coat? Hourglasses. Care to buy an hourglass? Where did you get all of those? Fell off the back of a donkey cart, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, right. well, don't be a stranger. So Cheers. this this guy has got a banana in his ear, and we want the um, librarian to give us access to L space. L space being short for library space, so we can travel in time. So let's go and talk to the librarian. Excuse me, do you have the book Recoglimento's Never Failing Guide to Dragon Summonation? Mm. I think we've already got that book. Yes. Uh, yes, I suppose so. Mm -hmm. Quite. Look, is there someone else here that I can speak to? Well, you know, someone who isn't a monkey. Ow! Oh, he said the M word. Come back and get a book later. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yes, I've given up. No, no not given, monkey. Hey, oh, damn, ow. Ah. Did you get the number of that donkey cart? Right, let's go back then um, to talk to the man. I know that the uh, librarian, where I won't use the M word, loves things. So let's. That doesn't work. 
got a banana? Mm -hmm. Hey, now that I've looked at the banana. Have you ever thought about the advantages of owning land on the Fremen Wanger Peninsula? And let's talk to him about that banana. There now you go. Now that's my special ticket into the library. It can get you into the shelves. It can get you any special service from the librarian you want. There's only one of these in existence. Yeah, but why is it in your ear? The mystic nature of the universe is not to be discussed idly. Let us say that with our thoughts we make the world, and that reality is only as we perceive it to be. Like dragons? Uh-huh, could be. So why is that banana in your ear? What banana? Look, I've had enough of this. How much do you want for it? For what? For the banana. It's not for sale. Not for all the gold in the kingdom, buddy. Not for all the gold in the kingdom. Not Which for all the gold in the kingdom. We happen to have. Really? No, not really. I mean, bring me all the gold in the kingdom and the banana's yours. Yeah. So let's right. take well. all the gold in the kingdom. So take that lump. Gonna take that lamp. I don't know that we're so desperate to get rid of the dragon that we're giving up all of this money. So take that lamp. Let's try another lump of gold. Here you are then. What? You mean this? This is actually all the gold in the kingdom? Yep. Yeah. Well, technically we're a democracy, you know. One man, one vote. The patrician's got the vote because he's the man. But that's all the gold, yeah. Definitely. Would I lie? Oh, fine. Fine. I, I, it's just, I never thought you'd actually... Uh, uh, never mind. Is it all right? I mean, you haven't changed your mind or anything. Mm? Uh, no, no. Can I have my banana then? Uh, uh sure. Here. Uh, right. Yeah, right. Uh, right you are then. <laughs> I'll just, uh... I'll just go off with all the gold in the dictatorially democratic regime then, shall I? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Die horribly somewhere. Okay, so now that we have the banana, we can, uh, or the golden banana, we can take this and give it to the uh, librarian, and he should give us access to our space. Ooh, 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 ooh. <coughs> what? Oh, I have to say the secret librarian base. And there you go, access to L space. Huh. Is that all? What happens if I ever reveal the words to an outsider? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I see. Actually, I. I never even knew you could do that with an entire 16 volume encyclopedia. <laughs> Worst things happen at sea, on some ships, I suppose. So, let's um, travel through our space. Go into the past, and if we go into the past, then we can see who stole the book, follow them, and find their secret hideout. And maybe in that way, we can, we, we can find the conspirators. So this is what else space looks like, Discworld fans. So here we go. We know we're in the past because the librarian's sleeping. So if we're going to the past, uh, we, hmm. Ooh. there's the thief arriving. We saw that he went through that bookshelf. Nope! I can't sh Oh dear. There's little pamphlets living in it. Hmm. So, oh, 
goodness me, how do we get through the bookshelf? That's the question, isn't it? Um, I should just, all that I should have to do is take that book. There you go. There's a hole in the wall. And we should be able to follow the thief. I need a very good reason before I go into the shades. The shades is an area where curiosity not only kills the cat, but ties lead weights to its feet and throws it in the river. Okay. Not going to go into the shades. And so, uh, I believe that we should be over here, but do you know who I can't really see? So I can't see the thief running around. This is ridiculous. Dicky Ludless. Oh. It's me having a sleep in the park with a quantum butterfly. Okay, well, let's leave, just leave me. Well, let's just leave me. Let's just leave me um, to. Well, do I still have the frog? That's a frog picture. There's a frog. Take that. Plug up my hole. And we should therefore have to take the net that we had again. I do have the net, don't I? There you go. And I can therefore catch the butterfly and the butterfly there. I've got myself a quantum butterfly who I think can also change time. Anyway, we didn't come here to the park to mess around. What we came to do is to find the thieves hideout. There's the inn, which should be the broken drum or the mended drum. It's the park. Where on earth? is the inn. Uh, yeah, I think that we um, probably need to go back to the hole and come out again and look for someone in blue. But it's very hard. To see anyone in blue running around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to the present, rewind, go back to the past again. And see if we can see that pesky thief running around. So a little tip, if you press escape, you can bypass all of the uh, stuff playing. So if we come and stand over here, hopefully we'll see the thief come out again. should see the thief come again this time hopefully we can follow him it doesn't help that he's wearing blue and he escapes on a blue map that doesn't help at all
Nope. I can't. Grab the book. Open the bookshelf. There he is. 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 You can see him over there. Comes down here. And he went over here. And there it is, the hideout. Thank goodness for that. Didn't think we were going to find it. So. Let's listen at the drain Shall pipe. tune the reception on this thing? Okay. So I found the hideout. Which, which is fair enough. So what we're going to do um, is we need to get some parts because as it says, I need to tune the reception on this thing, which means we need to find some bits and pieces to put that together. So what we're going to do is we'll go back to the present. I right, need to go through the whole Okay, so we'll leave the university for now. But on our way out, we will get a sack of flour from the kitchen. There's our sack of flour, corn flour. Pick that up. So it can be confusing watching what I'm doing, but the simple fact of the matter is, is that you can spend hours and hours wandering around the game, finding things. Uh, but once you play the game, well, you pretty much know what you're meant to actually do, so you can just do them while you're near things. So round the back of the uh, university is a trash can, so we're going to need that later on. Garbage cans, we'll take one of them, put that in there, complete. Let's leave there. So if we go up to the city gate, <gasps> and here we find, I think, I think that's carrot, you know. Let's talk to you. I haven't done anything to you. Why don't you just leave me alone? Well, I'm, I'm a guard, sir. A guard has to, to... To what? Well, well, to guard, sir. I mean, we have to watch out for theft, sir. Does that have to involve harassing me? Well, you are a potential suspect, sir. Why do I have to be a suspect? Couldn't I be... Well, stock in trade. Stock in trade? Stock well, in trade? Me, you could just take a quick look every now and then to make sure I haven't been stolen. Good thinking, sir. If you are ever stolen, I shall report it to you at once. So let's go the humorous. Oh, right you are, sir. I think your commander wants you to fall in. Right you are, sir. That wasn't very funny, was it? But I'll just move along then, shall I? Fine. So let's open the crates. And take some explosives from there. Right, let's carry on. Right. Go back 
into the library. There's the library. Then we can travel back in time again. I think we'll give the pipe another go. I only tried the drain pipe on the right. So let's give the one on the left a try. See if we can hear what they've got to say for themselves. Shouldn't be too hard now that we found the hideout, now that we know where it is. Oh. So now the hideout's over here. Let's try that drain pipe. I wish I could tune the reception on this. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. See, I've already done that one. Mm, hello? Hail! Yes, hail, brother doorkeeper. Hey, hang on. You're not dressed right. There's nothing forbidding and black about you that isn't. <gasps> oh. Brother door opener. Doorkeeper! Opener, keeper, what's it matter? Well, I don't have to open it to just anybody who turns up. You could be a spy. A spy? A spy? There's a possibility. You could be a very clever spy wearing a very effective disguise. Open the blasted door. door. What's the password? All right. Lean closer. Right? No. What? You didn't say Simon says. Open the door or I'll kill you. Da, ah, the other password. <sighs> hmm. Couldn't hear him. What I need... I wish I could tune the reception on this thing. ...is something to listen at the pipe with. So I'm thinking that what we need to do is... um Go to the mended drum broken drum broken drum mended drum what is it and when it's in the past so we can't do anything at the inn can we oh there's a scared guy i think later we have to be pretend to be a ghost to do something with him let me out the door thank you Okay, so what should we? What can we do while we're in the past? Let's go to toy store. Someone's store there, that's for sure. Oh, it's just got a troll on it. Let's um take that pot. <laughs> then it's worth talking to trolls. I don't know how good their English is, but we'll give it a go. This is all your fault, you know. Now they've got me on therapy. Yeah, well, don't bother getting up. That's a nice pot you're making there, by the way. It's supposed to be a hat rack. Oh, well, don't let me disturb you. I'll just quietly walk on my way. You notice well, that we... Goodbye. You notice that we got that um, butterfly earlier. And I know one that thing about but work. butterflies is they like lights. So let's put the butterfly around the lamp. <gasps> oh, and it is a quantum butterfly. Let's rain on him. Oh. 
I'm sure there's a, oh, we've all got a few people we'd like to do that to ourselves. Clay things? What are clay things? That doesn't work. Okay, well, let's carry on. There's an alley. Ah, there's a toilet. Let's have a fright about what we're going to find there, but. Can't shift it. Good grief. What in Offler's name is that dreadful smell? I'd give it a couple of minutes if it were me. Oh, there's some graffiti there. That doesn't work. What's this then? Prove that you're a man. See Sally at the house of negotiable affection and ask for a special. You know, the tone of this town is really going downhill. And it started at the bottom in the first place. Okay. Right, let's just click through it. Sally at the house of negotiable affection. And ask for a special. Okay. Nothing in the that fish crate. Work. Fish crate, so let's just walk on. leave the street best we can everything's shut all the toy shops shut fishmongers is shut right then we're looking for the um when the drum that's the palace da, 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 da. there's the mended drum there doesn't work. Okay, well let's talk to the troll. Keep out. Keep out. Wizards mean trouble. Mercy! Stop! We're friends! I stop fights. That's what I do. But there isn't a fight. But what do you call this thing? Well it wasn't a fight until you started hitting me. Ah, oh, so now there's a fight and I can finish it. But I'm not resisting. This isn't a fight. It's just victimization. How does this fit into your job description? Preemptive retaliation? Hey. This is wrong. You can't just hit people for no reason. Look, in the future, you should only thump people that actually seem to be asking for it. Hey, you, you might have a good idea there. Ooh. I should wonder if that's cry surprise or not. But let's try and go in the bar now that we've talked to the uh, troll. And this is the uh, mended drum. If it broke, where are Who are you? What do you want? Nothing. Look, I've just come in here for a quiet drink. I mean, it's not like I'm asking for any trouble. Why don't you all just leave me alone? Just stay away from it's me. It's very There'll much like trouble. Kenneth Williams. No, this if is you remember Kenneth Troubles Williams. Coming. Such as? Oh, terrible, awful, painful trouble. I'm the toughest bar fighter in town. Really? Yes, so just don't try anything I could. I could... Mm? Chinese burns can infect, you know. You could be crippled for life. Look, my name is Rincewing. I'm just a wizard. I'm not here to beat you up. No. Oh. oh, well, I'm Horton Shortley, barbarian at law. You look like an accountant. No, I'm not. I'm a horrendously psychotic adventurer. Oh, and I'm not the type of weedy little guy who gets pushed around in bars. Mm, don't assume that just because I'm frightened of the noise of cornflakes that I might not be a serial killer. Don't think just a because I like cats killer. that I'm some kind of wimpish... Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you're not, but I really must go now. Right, then, let's um, go deeper. See what we can find. Oh, there's a picture. There's a bragger. Oh, Bart the Incredible, greatest thief in the multiverse. Really? What? Really? Shut up! I've heard it all before. So I'm sorry if this music's a bit loud. Yes, Can't really turn Amazon it down. Women? Yes, 
the one where you blah 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 succulent blah 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 rounded blah 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 meringue blah 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 hot custard blah 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 wild slithering blah 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 clawing at your blah 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 meringue blah 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 hot custard blah 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 wild slithering blah 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 clawing at your blah 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 and then you add some tea. Oh, yeah, sure. I remember that one. Some adventure, eh? Hmm. That doesn't some work. Picture. Right. Okay, well, let's crack on. So we found the secret hideout. We've got the butterfly. So I think what we need to do next is um, find a way out. There you go. Let's go back to the present. And then when we're hacking the present, what we'll do is we'll go to the mended drum and we'll get ourselves a glass or something to listen at the drain pipe with only it's not the mended drum in the present i'm thinking that there would have been a fight at some point there's always a fight at the drum and now it will be the broken drum Oh, Froggy's back. Love that frog. Might need him again. Uh, right, so we're looking for the drum, aren't we? And the drum is down there. There it goes. It says broken drum. Let's put the frog into the luggage. Never know when you might need a frog. If we talk to the, uh, I was going to say, if we talk to the barman, we'll know what happened last night. Uh, let's go and um, order something to drink. We can hopefully get a glass. Busy night? No, not particularly. Why? Just wondering. What is there to drink? Well, it's all a matter of suiting the clientele, friend. What do you think the sort of person who frequently frequents this bar would like to have for his drinkies? What'll it be? Is this one of those tough, brutal bars? Yeah, not through actual planning, mind, but it just sort of develops. Then I'll have the usual. Uh, a glass of gin served at room temperature with a human air in it, please. Ah, yeah, I've just checked and uh, we're all out of gin. Hmm. Whiskey? Um, no. Rice wine? Perno? Absinthe? Scumble? No. Old Val Bender Stout? I think it's off, sir. Off? How could Stout go off? It kills bacteria. You can clean privies with it. Well, it's more sort of uh, settled, sir. All the black colouring sort of swimming round the bottom. Same things happen to the elderberry wine. Well, I say the same thing, but it's more like lumpy. <laughs> it's probably all right, though. Ah, uh, thank you. So what have you got that hasn't got lamps in it? Oh, tons of stuff. Incidentally, sir, I don't know if you've noticed that rather impromptu pun there. <laughs> rather good, I thought. It could have meant tons, T-U-N-S. Ooh, look at the drunk man. Or, or tons, Scared man. T-O-N-S, in its colloquial usage meaning lots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very good, yeah. So, you've got lots, then? Uh, well, no, not really. <laughs> so, is there anything here to drink today? Well, yes, sir. It is a bar. I mean... Not much use having a bar if there's no actual beer being served here. Today, we have beer actually on tap. That doesn't smell like beer. That smells like Zynemouth's Lacantar Splenetic Emollient. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it's very similar to beer, sir. Similar? It's one of the most deadly prescription medicines ever devised by man. How could it possibly be similar? Well, it is a liquid, sir. Well, I'm not touching it. I'll just have a glass of water, please. What? As in, water taken from the River Ank. Whew, you're braver than I thought. Ah, I see your point. Well, give us a Zynemouth Lacantar Spinetic Emollient, then, please.
Alright, so we should take that tankard. And uh, uh, there you go, lovely. And ah, oh, some drinks there. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Oh. Oh, I've got some matches that we can take. That doesn't work. So there's an idea that to sort of kind of click on everything. Right, so now that we've got our um, tankard, hopefully a tankard will be good enough to listen with. So we'll leave the drum again. Really, not happy that the tankard will work for us, you know. Let's talk to the barman no again. Why? One drink per act is enough for me. Hmm. Hairy, malodorous, the guttering light of stupidity gleaming in his eyes. It's a fair guess that this is the barman. No way. That doesn't work. Hmm. God bless you, Val. My mate. My old... old what's his oh name? Oh my hey, god. Hey, it's you and me against the world, pal. I love it. Sounds like the Ang Ball Pork is actually Glasgow. What's his name's my mate? Right, one more try of the drinks. Nothing, 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 nothing. Hmm. Perhaps we need to go into the past to get a uh, glass. Let's go and give it a try. Eh? One thing I do know is whatever you do in the past, you also sort of have to do in the present. So let's go back to the streets. Because the last thing that we did when we looked in here is we looked in the toilet, didn't we? Let's go down to the toilet now. Ah, and there you go. There's a robe. And I'm going to need that because we're going to want to um, disguise ourselves as one of the. Um, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. As one of the uh, collaborators. So let's put that rope in there. Still need the glass. That's why we had to do the bit with the butterfly to get him wet so that he would take his robe off so that we could get the robe so that we can disguise ourselves later. You can see it's a bit disjointed when you walk around just picking things up but hopefully it will make sense when you see the bits and pieces coming together. Ooh, hide out during the day. Okay, well, let's go into the past anyway. Pretty sure we need to go into the past.
Hmm. Let me try once more to see if we can get a glass in the present. It's a long old way back into the past. And this is the green. Counterwise wine. Ah. That doesn't work. Counterwise wine. Would it be the teensiest bit worth my while asking for some? Highly likely. There you sir. go. You have to look at the counterwise wine first. Hang on, sir. I'll just have a look. And then the barman speaks to us again. Yes. Sorry, sir. Just increasing the dramatic tension. Careful with your drink, it's a wee bit strong. Let's have a nice drink of the counterwise wine. Strong? I didn't feel a thing. It's counterwise wine. It's grown from a grape that grows backwards in time. It affects you before you drink it. You must have had some mother of a hangover last night. Funny, I don't remember anything about last night. Oh, that bad, was it? Which is why... Rince Reed is drunk in their space. Into that class of flora, reannuals, that grow only in excessively high magic fields. Normal plants grow after the seeds have been planted. With reannuals, it's the other way around. Although reannual wine causes inebriation in the normal way, the ensuing hangover is thrust backwards in time. Hence the saying, have a hair of the dog that is going to bite you. That would be David Attenborough then, I guess. Like I say, lots of impressions through the game. Oh! oh I'm so stupid! I did all of that talking to get the glass, and what's the one thing I forgot to pick up? The glass. Let's go back, yeah, just shut. Drinks started to kick in already. So let's go and get the glass. So now we need to go back into the past and listen at the book, at the um, drain pipe for the uh, conspirators. Uh, now I've got a glass, so I can do that. Library. Travel around. No, I can't shift. No, I can't. Right, so now over to the hideout. Wait for the thief to turn up and wait to hear what he's got to say. Ah, oh, that's better. So if I come over here and then walk away, hopefully it will turn up. Or we'll knock on the door. That doesn't I am not a cart. Now if I listen in. We'll hear what the password is. Opener, keeper, what's it matter? Well, I don't have to open it to just anybody who turns up. You could be a spy. A spy? 
Well, it's a possibility. You could be a very clever spy wearing a very a very clever disguise. spy. Open the blasted door. What's the password? All right. The user. It's spoons. Spoons. Swordfish. Swordfish. Right. No. What? You didn't say Simon says. Open the door or I'll kill you. Ah, the other password. <sighs> mm, so now we know the password. Okay. Could always try entering. Um, some robes. Some robes on. Let's see if they'll let us in now or whether we need to do something. <laughs> the luggage tries to disguise itself. Mm, hello? Hail! Yes, hail, brother doorkeeper. Right, give me the password and I'll let you in. Oh, all right. Ah. Let's see now. It's. Blah 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 spoons blah 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 swordfish blah 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 right right no hey you didn't see Simon says oh. Simon says okay welcome or oh fellow brother of the elucidated brethren of the sword hail brothers hail 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 yay right hail once again, so this is where we learn who the members of the Brotherhood are. We shall weave the webs of power. But if we know now that it is our destiny to rule this city. Woo! Chucky, 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 Chucky! Hail! <gasps> There's a clue. Once I thought it was my the Chucky, Chucky. To build a dinosaur in my so it's the jester at the palace. It was my destiny. To win the men's overland saxophone championships. But now I know, I finally know that it is my destiny to rule Hank Morpork. Here, what about I say? A marine company with these, my loyal lack of the um, loyal comrades. A new age shall dawn, my friends. Hail! An age of power and majesty. Hail! An age of freedom, without indoor plumbing and the job losses it entails. Hail! A world where a man can carry out his legitimate wealth redistribution business without worrying about quotas. Hail! Where cheap replastering will be outlawed in favour of major structural reinforcement. Ah, that'd Yay, be the mason. A place where low mackerel sales will be a thing of the, the past. The fishmonger. And compulsory smoke-through cleanliness will be rigorously enforced. The chimney sweep. Hail, brother Brigwit, brother Broom, bring the toad. Now, for the spell of power, brother, brother. Uh, pencil head. Oh, dark spirits of the universe. With this bowl, we do consecrate and, and so forth. Except now, these sacrifices, as we consign the potion to the flames. Bring us the power of the dragon. 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 Nothing like reusing the same cutscene to save space on the disc. I'll even say the same thing. Oh, he looks evil. <laughs> I could use the same piece of video. So there you go. We have it. We we now know the um, is it six people who are planning the overthrow of the city: the mason, the thief, the dunny man, the fishmonger, the fool, and the chimney sweep. So that that's enough for the first half of Act Two, where we find out 
just who the conspirators are. In the next video, we'll go through and we'll get their uh, golden items off them to take to the dragon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.